Mr. President, we will not win a fight against corruption if the president is involved in allegation of money laundering. We want the president to come clear that to explain and take the country into confidence as to who are the people who donated money in the CR17 campaign and what do they stand to benefit. I'm not even sure if your party policy allow that you must set up a fund to finance a campaign if you want to become this or that in your own party. We need the names, not leaked documents, Mr. President. You ought to call all these trustees and say to them, they must give you a report of who donated money and what are the expectations of those people. We don't have an intention, none whatsoever, to remove you as a president because your people have elected you democratically. But if you are going to come across as being a constitutional delinquent, we'll be left with no option but to engage in an impeachment process against you. We want you, President, where a mistake was committed, to take full responsibility and announce which practical steps you are going to take in correcting um, those mistakes. We don't see anyone in your party, if we were to be removed tomorrow, who can replace you. Otherwise, we'll all be in a disaster. So we are in a disaster now. We don't want to be in a worse disaster. Democratic Alliance leader Musi Maimane says the president must stop delaying the investigation into the Bosasa donation. Mr. President, I want to ask you, let's allow the public protector to do her job, to table the report into allegations into Bosasa. Let's set up a parliamentary ad hoc committee where you can come and give your version of the story and let's stop delaying, let's get to the bottom of this and clean out corruption once and for all in South Africa today. My man has also criticized the size of Ramaphosa's cabinet, saying it's still too bloated. He says uh, it's time Ramaphosa stands up to alliance partners and unions and cuts the network of patronage. If we are going to reform the state, we should have made cabinet much smaller. Instead, the president made it look as if he's cutting cabinet, introduced deputy ministers, doubled them up. I want to argue this case that we can reduce the state to 15 ministries, eradicate deputy ministers, and make sure money is available for the people of this country. In another dramatic speech in Parliament today, the EFF's Naledi Chewa said government must compl must, was complicit in murder. Another MP challenged that claim. The Red Berets then jumped to her defence, but she eventually withdrew the statement. You jailed Kanya Kageshe. You jailed Boinko Kanyile and are complicit for the brutal murders of Benjamin Petra, of Pongani Matonzela, just because they asked for a free education that you promised them when they were still toddlers in 1994. You have over a million Deputy. students across all universities, but you can Speaker, only accommodate Honourable just Honourable under 130,000 students. Where Honourable must the rest stay? Hold on. Without any intention Honourable to build member, Honourable Chirwa, Honourable Chirwa, when you are spoken to, you stop speaking. Uh, yes, Honourable Member. What are you raising on? Deputy, Press the button there. Deputy Speaker. Yes. The Speaker on the podium said the President is complicit in murder. Yeah. I think that is unparliamentary. Yeah, it's sustained. It's correct. Honourable Member, withdraw that statement. Honourable Member, withdraw the statement. You listen to the presiding officer. On a point of order, Deputy Speaker. What's your point of order? 
She never said that. She said Honorable that member? the government is complicit in murder. No. There's Honorable. a court ruling about affirming that saying here in a joint city. Honorable Shivambo? Because when it was said by the commander-in-chief that the ANC government killed... Honorable Shivambo? That was affirmed by court that is permissible speech. Honorable Shivambo? But also it's out of tradition. No. Honorable Shivambo? You are wrong. You are that house, that chairperson... Honorable member? It's out of order. Yeah. You must allow... Honorable Shivambo? Honorable Naledi to... Honorable, Honorable, Shivambo. Now. Honorable Shivambo, you are wrong. Honorable Chirwa, withdraw that statement. On a, on a point you... of order. On a no. point of order, Deputy. What's your point of order? Deputy Speaker. Yes. Deputy Speaker. We hope... The... What's your point of order, sir? You no. keep quiet, Honorable Members. You keep quiet. Chief Whip, you, you allow Deputy your Speaker member to speak. What it did. Honorable Member, go ahead. Deputy Speaker. Yes. On two bases, we call a, 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 a point of order. One, a maiden speech cannot be interrupted. And that you have allowed. And secondly, a Deputy Speaker, where there is um, no certainty and there is a dispute about remarks and utterances in this house. In the best interest of this house to flow and the debate, refer it to Hansard and allow the poor speaker to continue. Don't be disruptive okay. as you were in the past Honourable uh, Parliament. Speaker. And Honourable now you are starting at the Honourable point Gadi. of order. Ah, Honourable, no. Honourable, Honourable Gadi, Gadi. Speaker. Please can we be seat. saved from you? Yeah. On a Honourable, point of order. Honourable, Honourable, Honourable no, uh, Can I make a ruling here? Please. Honourable Chiro, withdraw that statement because it is out of order. If, and I plead with you to do so, Please withdraw the statement. On a point of order, Deputy Speaker. No, I have ruled on this. There's no, three of you. You must Honourable ask her if she said Honourable it or not. You cannot say she must withdraw. She has oh. not confirmed to have said that. Honourable she Member. She did not confirm I, that. You must I, ask her. Honourable Member. Stop being emotional, man. No, 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 no. Honourable Member, I have sustained the ruling. I have heard the member, and I'm asking her to withdraw. I mean, it, it is not a lie that no, Honourable Member, Pesha Honourable Member, you don't Bogani do that. Matonsela were killed fighting member, for Honourable free Honourable education. Honourable 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 it is not a lie. Honourable you are, I'm going to switch off this Honourable mic. Of you are going to have to get off the podium Honourable if you are not prepared order. to withdraw. Fine. You withdraw. Fine. Fine. Let's do this. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Withdraw. withdraw. Honourable. We'll deal with this one later. Honourable Member. Honourable Shivambo. for now. We'll deal with it. Honourable Shivambo. You are not a presiding officer. Take your seat, Honourable Member. I withdraw, withdraw the statement. Deputy Speaker. Thank you.